Good day. Today we're going to be looking at the uh, Raspad 3. Uh, recently I had uh, an audio issue with it. Now I've done this audio fix before, but specifically I haven't seen it since uh, the last time I had to fix it. So this is a new instance, a uh, different OS, but it must have been built on the same image as uh, the one that I had previous that also had uh, the audio issue with it. So today we're going to go ahead, we're going to look at it, we're going to try the same fix that we did on the previous video and see if that will uh, fix the audio in um, the Raspad 3. So with that being said, let's go ahead Let's have a look. Okay, so we have our Raspad 3 here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get uh, VNC loaded up here. We're going to hit up the desktop here. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to play some audio on it. And we're going to see if it works or not. And then we'll try uh, to get that working. Okay, so while we're waiting for the Raspad 3 to update, I thought I'd just take a moment here. Uh, if you have not been to the Element 14 community here, uh, make sure to check it out. Uh, I will have a link to uh, this post here. This is in, back in September of 14th of 2019. That's the last time I've seen this uh, um, issue uh, come up. So I do have all the steps listed here, so make sure to check them out and a lot of other user comments and in addition to the conversation here. So if you find out something and uh, you want to add it here, make sure to join the community, post what you find out, maybe something uh, that uh, you can do to do uh, this a lot quicker, easier, more efficiently. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're always looking for more input on to what we can do to make our Raspberry Pis a little bit more enjoyable and a little less bug free. So with that being said, let's pop over to the Raspad 3 and we'll go ahead and get started. Try playing some sort of audio anyways and see what happens here. The volume's all the way up. Audio jack. It should be on AV. Uh, that is how it's connected. Uh, so let's go to, and uh, let's try just playing a little bit here. See if we can get some actual audio. Maybe it was fixed during the update. So volume. Volume is all the way up. Volume's all the way up. We have no volume on here. Uh, it's a pretty common issue. And like I said, I've been dealing with this issue since back in 2019 here and then I should be able to go here and uh, yeah there we go so we've got it up on our screen now here um, so I'm just gonna switch back over to the Raspad controls here um, and basically all we're gonna do now is we're gonna close out of this we know that doesn't work uh, we're gonna bring up our terminal here uh, control alt and T on your keyboard or hit the button up top there. Uh, let me see if I can actually Make this a little bit bigger So we're gonna go over here and we're just gonna bump that up to 20 Go like that there we go. Now we can actually see what's going on here on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, so the first thing that I want to do, I hate when that cuts it off. It's actually cutting it off on my Raspad as well. Um, there we go. So the first thing we're gonna do uh, is just remove pulse audio. That was the first thing in the list of things to do. So let's just do that. So sudo apt get remove uh, pulse audio and that's gonna go ahead that's gonna remove that from our system uh, oh, we want one capital Y hit enter yes there is a difference if you see a capital Y use a capital Y lowercase Y use a lowercase just 
to make sure that you mean to do that. Reboot's what uh, we'll do first. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. It's been so long since I actually did this. Um, back when I first figured this out, it made sense to me. Uh, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try a play uh, user. Um, let's say share sounds. So, and then noise dot wave. Okay, we have audio. Uh, so the next thing we want to do is just reboot. Or um, what we can do is sudo apt uh, auto remove. That's just going to clean up anything that might be left over that uh, we no longer need anymore. Um, and there probably will be something, yeah, as you can see, Pulse Audio Utilities, a few little things there. And then all we're going to do is a pseudo reboot, and then we'll go ahead and try and play that YouTube uh, video again, and see if we actually get somewhere with it. So yeah, if it was installed, we want to remove it, reboot, check. If it's not installed, we want to install it, uninstall it, and then check. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, a weird process, but it does work most of the time. Uh, so we'll go ahead, we'll see if that works right now. I'm just gonna pop over to their computer here and get this guy back to the size it was uh, supposed to be. So I'm just gonna go ahead, open up the web browser and uh, we'll see if that actually worked. Um, let's go to history, Beethoven, maybe we have sound, maybe we don't. I'm sure we'll find out here shortly. Thank you, thank you. Okay, that's enough of that. That's it, that's gonna do it for me for today. Uh, so thanks for watching everyone. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Take care, eh?